My name is Jeffrey Leonard, uh, that's J-E-F-F-R-E-Y-L-E-O-N-A-R-D. I'm a major in the United States Air Force and I'm the Red Flag Alaska 22-3 Team Chief. Uh, and by trade, I'm a C-130J instructor pilot. So I'm going to provide a brief overview of what Red Flag is all about uh, to, uh, help under to help set the stage for uh, what we're conducting here over the course of the exercise. So Red Flag uh, was conceived in 1975 as a result of um, unacceptable um, performance by the Air Force in the Vietnam War. Uh, we had a very um, high kill ratio of our own aircraft in relation to enemy aircraft. And so an analysis conducted after the Vietnam War discovered that most combat losses occurred within a pilot's first 10 combat missions. And so Red Flag is a way to provide uh, our young aviators uh, their first top, top 10 combat missions in a combat-like and safe training environment. So that way, by the time they deploy to combat, uh, it's like they've seen it before. So we're looking for a combat-like uh, training environment to provide our aviators with some experience uh, to make them more lethal in combat. So the red flag was originally conceived at Nellis Air Force Base, uh, but in the 90s, uh, there's red flag Alaska to service the Indo-PACOM AOR was moved from Clark Air Base in the Philippines to Isleson Air Force Base uh, up north in Fairbanks. So we have a distributed operation. Red flag Alaska is operated from both Isleson Air Force Base as well as Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. Uh, most of the fighter aircraft are based out of Isleson, and then we have F-22s as well as big wing uh, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft like the E-3, uh, as well as airlift and air refueling aircraft that take place or that operate out of uh, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson down here in Anchorage. Sure, so the exercise is organized into Blue Forces, uh, which are the participating uh, per personnel squadron units that are here to train in the exercise, as well as and we have uh, the opposing force called the Red Force, uh, which is comprised of the 18th Aggressor Squadron based at Isleson Air Force Base. And the way that we structure it is that the Blue Force trains against the Red Force. And in the middle we have the White Force, which is the exercise staff who facilitate the execution of the exercise. What we do is we take the squadrons um, show to the exercise with some objectives that they would like to achieve while they're here. And what the White Force's role is, is we compile every squadron's objectives and we build a scenario that helps them achieve what they're trying uh, to learn from the exercise.